Hey everybody, it's me, Alexis Sarah. Today, I'm gonna be doing a fire emblem with all of you. I'm dressed up like Harley Quinn. <laughs> I can't do an impression of her for some reason. I probably I haven't listened <laughs> to Tara Strong talk in two million and a half years. Uh, Hi everybody, I'm Tracy and I'm invisible. That's the invisible girlfriend of mine I do have that I don't do declare. Um, so are we playing today, Alexis? We're playing Fire Emblem Path of Radiance again. What a shock that we do Fire Emblem on this channel. I don't Yay. think we've I've... ever played a Fire Emblem. I've never done any Fire Emblem content before, so I hope that everyone um, is very excited. For some <laughs> Fire Emblem content. It's new. <laughs> um, it's fresh tip. Alright, so last time uh, we ran into uh, Alencia. Um, princess of the secret princess Crimea, and she was like, Hey, get me to this other country. And then while we were sitting around debating whether or not we should help her, the fascists turned up on our doorstep and we kicked their butts. Yep, we just kicked some Nazi ass. Yeah, so now we got to uh, get right out of the game before more Dane soldiers show up, I guess. Yep. Um, let me go on to the Twitch page and make sure that we are on the LGBT category or the like tag thing because it won't let me do it from Streamlabs. Okay. No one out pieces the HUD I got. It. Okay, so it still says LGBTQ plus. Okay, cool. Okay, anyway, I will look at those messages from HP later. Or on yeah, my phone so during play the game. game. Let's play the game. Um, sorry, everyone. Uh... Alright, so. The sorry, there's like. I don't know if you can really hear it, but there's a huge amount of like sound pollution coming from my end. So I hope you all can deal with it. Like, I told I... people, hey, I'm going to be streaming, and they did not care. So. Yeah. I can't hear it at all, babe. Alright, good, good, good. Yeah. The continent of Tellius. Blessed by the goddess to the north we west lies the land of Crimea, home of the Grail mercenaries. Oh, we can't hear it right no, now? Uh, what, what? You can't hear the noise pollution, right? Oh, okay. Right. The game volume right. in everyone is good, right? Uh, okay, there you go. Clarified. All right, okay, thank you. All right, yeah, good. Yes. The continent of Tellius, blessed by the goddess. The northwest lies the land of Crimea, home of the Grail's mercenary. I do like that there's just room on the map that apparently no one like talks about, like up there in the mountains and stuff. <laughs> I mean, that feels kind of more realistic yeah. to our world. In this year, to be honest. Exactly. No, that's what I, I. That's what I like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad everything audio working. Without warning, Crimea's eastern neighbor, the Kingdom of Dane, launches an attack on Crimea's capital city of Melor. The Fash attack. Can't believe that the Nazis invaded us. What was it, Poland? Yes. <laughs> Let's stop the Nazi analogies. It's not an exact one to one. <laughs> it's a little bit. They're a little bit Nazis, though. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah. in terms of like, he is. He definitely has some of that air of like a fascist uprising. Okay, yeah, but he's that. royal, so it's different. He wasn't elected. He didn't get it. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. the thing is, monarchies are as bad as fascism, and with that, let's move. <laughs> There would not, not be political commentary on this stream 
any day. <laughs> I lead the handful of mercenaries in my lore to confirm Soren's news of the attack. Like, if you want a person who's not going to talk about politics, then watch a white guy. They don't, and there's a million lots of plays by white guys. <laughs> We're just like you. We don't talk about politics. We play video games. I just care about, about video games. games. <laughs> like, my girl dick is huge. <laughs> en route, they happen to upon a young woman, unconscious but unharmed. Fearing for her safety, they take her back to their stronghold. Should I be a gamer for this stream instead, Tracy? No. Okay. You're already a gamer. I'm happy with the VR. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to do a gamer impression the whole time? I don't think I would survive. <laughs> when she awakens, the woman gives her name as Alincia and lays claim to the title of Princess of Crimea. She relates the sad tale of her flight from Crimea and her parents' murder at the hands of Ashnard, King of Dane. The Grail mercenaries answer Princess Alincia's plea for help and agree to escort her to the kingdom of Egalia. Located to the southwest of Crimea, Galia is home to the Lagoons, a race quite unlike Ike and his fellow Bjork. Meow. <laughs> They're cats. <laughs> they sure are. Crimea and Galia have long struggled to overcome their differences. In recent years, the two kingdoms have done much to ease the prejudice between Magoos and Bjork factions. Their combined efforts have forged a bond of trust, a friendship that may overcome years of intolerance. Ike and company escaped to the Dane army, abandoning their longtime base. From there, they began to lo the long march towards Gallia. Their task clear and their destination far, they slip into the ocean of trees. Six, a brief diversion. Alright. <clears throat> uh, oh, it's so wet and sticky. This forest is so hot. Are you alright, miss? Do you want to rest? Uh, 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 uh you can't heal it. No, no, you. How am I gonna like? <laughs> uh, I'm alright. But what about you, Titania? Isn't all that armor hot? Dane is hot on our, tail, on our trail, so it would not be wise to take it off. Well, if you're surprised, I'd be at a serious disadvantage. So, this heat is appalling. What I love about, like, Titania's armor is that, like, her breastplate looks like a breastplate. <laughs> yeah, it actually looks like an actual ass breastplate, and, like, like, her clothing looks like it is meant to be that, like, bit of, like, extra mobility. Like, like, if this is another Fire Emblem game, like, all that, like, fabric would all just be skin. <laughs> It'd be like, oh, yeah, when it gets hot, and that would be their excuse. Well, if I'm in a hot situation, I would die of heat stroke. I breathe through my skin, you see? I was thinking more of the situation that I don't see any, like, um, like, breast cleavage on this breastplate there. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, like, something that I, I would, you know, I've, I've played Fates, okay? I've seen some things, but anyway. <laughs> I've seen things. I've played Fire uh, Emblem Fates. You know, having played Fire Emblem Fates, I really appreciate how, uh, good the designs are in this game, okay? That's all. <laughs> They're great. I want to do, like, an article or something about that. Yeah. Still, this heat is appalling. 
Is Gallia beyond this forest? How do the people who live here tolerate this heat? Gallia is a country of subhumans. God, Soren, you just took it over. You just, <laughs> you just like, oh, Sh Shinon would have said all this bullshit, but I'll say it. No, he said this shit, I'm pretty sure. No, no, he does say I just say he doesn't have... He, like, I think I was like, what's subhuman? Oh, yeah, there's, oh, yeah you're right. Like, there's, no other, there's no other racist left in the party, so it's just Soren being like a dick. <laughs> yeah, Soren, Soren's here to do all the racism today. The last racist standing in this army. Uh, anyway, Gali is a country of subhumans. The climate they prefer is quite different than what we would choose. These subhumans? Are they really different from us? These subhumans are the goos. Can be divided into three groups, each one named for its physical characteristics. First, the beast tribe, next the bird tribe, and finally, the dragon tribe. The bird tribe lives on islands set for Tellius. The dragons live to the last set as well in Goldua. The goos residing here in Gallia are part of the Beast Tribe, who possess feeling qualities like their razor-sharp fangs. Without, like, Shinon to bounce off of, like, Soren's, like, random racism sounds like more like, like, he doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> like, he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> this dumb twink. <laughs> the Beast Tribe? Ike, everyone's saying we're almost out of the, out of the Sea of Trees. Everyone keeps calling it the Sea of Trees. Is it, is it true? Once, Once we cross that river ahead, we'll be in Gallia. Just a bit more. Step lively. <clears throat> and that's when we lost track of them. I assigned a squad to the purple to pursue them. And returned just so I could give you this report. Understood. You may step down. Oh, come on, don't mess up the march. There you go. So, Princess Alencia is making her way through the forest of Gallia. And ah! <laughs> it would appear your advice is sound. Well done! You have earned my praise. Thank you. When the king assigned me a tactician, I wondered what... I had done to lose his trust. When I saw it was a young girl, I burned with anger at the king's judgment. Still, it works out. It worked out better than I expected. Keep up the good work. Of course. <laughs> now then, it's time to hunt for the hunt to begin. Oh god, can I not have hiccups on stream right now? That'd be great. <laughs> Hold it right there, everyone. We're coming up to the edge of the forest. Form up. Combat positions. I don't suppose our Dane and pursuers were willing to let us just slip away. There's no doubt they'll attack again. Without knowing their numbers, it's difficult to advise a course of action. Take your best guess, Soren. With the limited information we have, what's the best way to proceed? Some of our group cannot fight. If we are caught, we'll have a difficult time defending him and attacking the Dane and attacking the Danes. Sorry, the, the text scroll is just kind of slow on my. Mm -hmm. um, no, no problem. I suppose we separate into two groups: a small fighting force to engage the enemy by the main group some time. And the rest of us, who will escort the Princess of Gallia to full speed. You want to divide our combat strength? The main force aside, don't you think that the risk to the hot smaller group is too high? I believe this is the only way to achieve our goal and keep casualties to a minimum. It's possible there's an ambush waiting for us into the forest. If we proceed with no plan, we may be caught between this pursuit and the, um, and the ambush. Which should be the end of us all. Looks like we had no choice but to give it a go. Alright. 
The divisionary team will be me and Gaytree. The rest of you guard Princess Alencia and proceed to Gallia straight away. Got it? Are you sure that's enough men? I'd be taking Shiro if he hadn't died, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Every five minutes of this stream, we just burst out laughing about how Shiro's dead. This is Iken character laughing about Shiro being dead in front of Gaytree's face. Oh my god. Of course, the commander and I together can wipe out one or two hundred of those Dane mice without breaking a sweat. In this type of battle, smaller numbers mean greater mobility. I got it. Listen up. This will probably prove to be the biggest fight this company's ever faced. Remember, you only got one life. YOLO is what I'm calling it. I don't want any of you dying on me. In times like these, it matters not what our blood ties are. We're a family. If you don't want to cause our family any grief, then live! I will be commanding the main force. Titania, you're in support. Alright, let's move out. See y'all in Gallia. Hey. When I'm starting the battle band animation, I'm gonna see if I can close more like windows or something to make it where it's gonna the music's gonna run a little bit more smooth. Cause it does seem to be having like little lag spikes. Okay. Yeah, close like your Chrome or something. I guess I don't know. I mean, I can't close Chrome because I'm on call with you on Chrome. Oh yeah, and tabs, whatever. <laughs> but I guess not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So they're waiting for us all. After all. There are more than I imagined there would be. I thought they would have been spread out across the forest border. I didn't expect to see so many in one place. Do we rethink our strategy? No, we're already split up. It's too late to reconsider now. Don't worry, I, I have the Nintendo Power, the official guide. So we'll be fine. <laughs> Isn't there some way that we can at least get the Princess Mist and Rolf to the far shore safely? There are two bridges. The spigot extends to the edge of the westernmost bridge. If we can use the trees as cover, we might be able to reach the bridge undetected. I didn't get these stealth mechanics the first time I played the game. <laughs> From there, we can launch a surprise attack. We will be creating a diversion, right? Correct. While we keep the princess's attention, the M's attention, the princess and the others can cross the bridge to safety. No time for discussion. That's the plan we go with. My lord, I, I, I will fight with you. Whoa. No, you won't. My lord. I cannot let you expose yourself to that danger of any kind. Everyone here is risking their life to ensure your safety. If you understand that, you'll cooperate and do as I ask. I see. I will do my part. It's settled then. Right then. Break through their lines. Miss Rolf, take care of the princess. Do not let yourselves be seen. Right, be careful, everyone. Leave it to us, Ike. We'll just pretend it's a game of hide and seek, and I never lose at hide and seek. <laughs> Great job. Everyone ready? Let's go. Let's fuck these guys up. Okay, let's do another little savey here. There we go. So now uh, we don't have a missing slot in her party because Shana wouldn't even be here anyway. So now that death earlier isn't doing anything to hurt us. So we're all good. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to the stealth plan. I think. Um. So like we can see here, the way the map works. Um, there's a, there's the two bridges, like you said. 
But here's a guy with a poleaxe, and that is super effective against horse units, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh. That sounds about right. Oh. And it's designed to attack units with mounted units, so. This works yeah, I was just. There it's to be interesting. Your killer. The, the first time I played this map, I didn't get the idea behind having like their threatened areas and stuff be like the, how visible things are to them. But like now that I've like played enough of these games, I'm like, someone on this map will have a weapon that's super effective against Titania to prevent you just using your Titania for the whole map. <laughs> I mean, you still can, but it's just a little bit riskier. Okay, because we don't have an inventory, it'll be good to make sure that the items are distributed well. It does seem that they are, but um, maybe I should trade over to, um, like, well, I can't die, so I traded it to Ike. Here we go, take the um, Speedwing. By the way, while you're menuing, um... Love Shiro, which you live streamed the other day, is now a uh, hundred pounds away from being fully funded. Woo! Six days, five days to go too. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Can't believe we single-handedly funded Love Shiro, guys. Congratulations, <laughs> everyone. We did it. We did it. Uh, I'm very excited to play that game. Um, yeah. Very, I'll be excited to like do that full game on the stream in like a year or whatever it's done. Um, so yeah. Okay, I think I'm good to go. Alright. Alright, let's get into battle, everyone! Come, my mercenaries! Okay. So, Tanya, move here. Move here. Oh my gosh, can you not even move there, Soren? God dang it. Oh my god. It's okay. We're gonna. It doesn't. I mean, I guess I get bonus XP if I do it faster. Maybe I should just run and kill everyone. Maybe. I mean. Uh, we get, if we clear it in nine turns, I get a lot of bonus XP. I mean, you, okay, you got one turn in there. I mean, okay, well, let's look at this map. What, what's the point where you want to merge and engage these people at? Do you want to split up and, like, have Titania do a thing, or what? I mean, okay. I mean, I guess if I just have Titania take this archer and then the rest of these people here, like, that's not going to be a big deal. Okay. Okay, Boyd, um, I want you to move behind Titania and trade okay. her the steel axe because she only has a hammer, you take the iron blade. Titania, move here. Stand here with your... Yeah, so really you just gotta be worried about Riss and Soren getting killed. Yeah. They are like the glass shows here. Um... It's interesting in this game how, I don't know, just how, like... As long as we're in the trees right now, they can't see us, so I can... Oh, okay. Yeah. I was expecting them to, like, see Titania since he's in, like, their range or whatever. That's good. Yeah. I guess you could just have her, like, burst out the trees and probably kill someone then. Yeah, exactly. I, I can probably just have her run and kill this one. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Just kill. Wait, isn't the exact side of the map we don't want her to have to go? Because <laughs> well, of the night kill? I mean, I don't really care. <laughs> Alright, you're just like not feeling the fear from Polax. No, I'm not afraid of anything. Alright, cool. Um, you know. <laughs> you know, a girl and her axe. Mm-hmm, I sure do know. <laughs> Never been a more beautiful love story. Except for ours. <laughs> Okay, now let's check this range, let's check this range, let's make sure I'm not going to put the glass cannons to death. I really don't mind if Oscar gets pelleted for free or not. Mm -hmm. Neither Boyd, they can like, if they want to hit them, they both have their ranged weapons activated. Yes! <laughs> Twin tails. 
<laughs> I know, right? It's adorable. My transition goal has been met. I am now a haughty, mean girl that has twin tails. <laughs> Nathan finally. Ah! We spotted the mercenaries. You there, inform General Piatrain at once. Request that you gather the troops. All right. Yeah, sure, whatever, dude. <laughs> you want to shoot me with a bow? I'm in the trees, bruh. I got minus. I got dodge up. Shoot me. That's right. Mm -hmm. See, Alexis, so her cute twin tails couldn't possibly lose in this fight. Could it possibly lose in this fight? You have so many tabs. <laughs> yes, I have a lot of tabs. I should, I should, I should never be the one to say that though, because I have a lot yes, of tabs. Yes, you have at least like 500 tabs. Of On the other hands, I'm not streaming while playing uh, an emulator. <laughs> You know what? Fair do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go on the Twitch so I can see what's happening on screen. Yeah? I guess I should get rid of this second Discord. I don't need it open. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I have a I have a horny Discord. Thank you. <laughs> Sure, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So no one's dead. Oh, whoops. I, I like that I thought that. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, no one can see what happened, but it was funny, trust me. <laughs> okay, so here's Polax, right? So here's the deal, right? Let's see, let's see what they could do. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess don't be that worried. Excuse me. Mr. Polax. I'm a little piece of ghost me, ghost me. There you go. I took no damage. Yay. At first I was afraid, now I'm petrified. <laughs> <laughs> Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give that pole axe. Mm, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> There's Titania's side. There's Ike's side. For a second I thought that general was the Black Knight. That was... <laughs> Shove Soren. <laughs> <laughs> Shove points deeper into the woods. Yes. I mean, you want, you want them to be able to escape the map, I think. Do I get a bonus for them escaping the map? Let's I'm pretty here. sure, I'm pretty sure everyone has to escape, right? For each unit that escapes the map, 15, no, because I can just leave. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and it'll end it. But if you get them to individually escape, you'll get that little bit of bonus. Well, I support the idea that we get the, um, do the things. <laughs> okay, so this one's got three attacks, so he's even weaker than normal. Oh, but he has a stronger bow. So, um. Let's look at the help here. Uh, nine. So three plus nine is twelve. Twelve. And no that... wait, that's that's wait. I didn't see what the might was. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. Um, so it's, it's twelve, and yeah, so that won't kill. Yeah, he can't double you. You're fine. Plus, I'm in the trees, and Soren will stand here in the last tree since he can't hit. And then I'll just stop the other archer from being a threat by killing him with Ike. Yay. Get it. Kill that man. There's something cool about kind of coming back to like an older RPG like this, where, uh, like, I don't want to just like, I don't want to trash off in the 3DS games, because I play a lot of the 3DS games. I played the crap out of the 3DS games. Yeah. By you were literally playing it before we started the stream. 
yeah, like, I enjoy them. It's just like, you know, that's like, it can feel very popcorny when you have, like, completely, like, free grinding and all these DLC maps and stuff. But here, it's just you and the map, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's all about your strategy. All <laughs> you have is your strategy and your sword. Is that how that sentence? I don't know. I just made I just made it sound like it was part of that song. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was an Eminem lyric. <laughs> no, I was thinking like Pearl. So you can do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the archer. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> That's something you don't see in I, I like I never see the AI do that in like the, the 3DS games. It's like I never see anyone run from out of sheer fear. They will always always just KO themselves on the nearest enemy, even if they can't possibly win. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm going to equip the Regal Blade, and I'm going to drink up a potion here. I'm going to move back into these bushes, because there's going to be a lot of Lancey boys here. So, uh, I want to be able to dodge them. And then I'll have Soren move over here so that he can go defend his boyfriend in a minute. We're just going to be here. Oscar, you want to get a kill here? Here you go. Congratulations. You won. When did they add Gale Force to this series? Power of Awakening. Ah. I'm like, that isn't the kind of move I can imagine being in here. <laughs> no, that would mess with the balance of the game, probably. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I could have Titania run back and go defend Ike, too. Yeah, I'll do that. Here we go. Live and learn. Happiness till the ends of tomorrow. You're gonna have to break out the trees at some point, Alexis. Boys can't be in there forever. I'm going. I'm taking. I'm taking them out. But I had to. I had to <laughs> spike in it. Yeah, I know. I took some damage. That's why I went into the trees. I might. I might get game over it here. Um, oh, I made it made me a little goof, a little goofy there. I didn't have, I have backup when oh, I shit. definitely needed it. Oh shit! Okay, all right. Which is why uh, I moved Ike back into the trees. Uh, uh, come on! Oof! Oh! Oh, okay. Just free damage. That's fine. Yeah. He didn't even die, so this guy can't even walk up and attack. It's fine. I think he might be able to go to my side. No, okay, he can't. Cool. Yeah. Which is why I moved Titania back. It's all part of the plan. Soren, get a kill. <laughs> like the magic animation. All right, we're tearing through these guys. This is going okay. Yeah, I wasn't really worried. Ike is way stronger than... Like, Ike and Titania are way stronger than these maps. You really don't need any other characters if you use them. I mean, superficially, what you're supposed to do is not use Titania and use units that can earn more XP and have a higher potential cap. But the problem is, she's the only female character right now, so although she is, like, the Frederick of this game or whatever... The I'm giant still pretty... unit, yeah? Yeah. Not gonna shove Soren. I, I, you got, you got. Always think about that shove. <laughs> I forgot to shove, to be honest. How could you forget shoving? I mean, I've been using it. <laughs> I didn't used to make use of the mechanic, but now. Hmm. I mean, I could use the healing, so I don't know why I sent Ike forward. Yeah, maybe moving back a little bit. And then have him heal and just just have everyone kind of like match up to your front lines here because you got to synchronize everybody a bit anyway. Yeah, so I think I'll move Ike here. Okay. Titania right over here. Um, Soren goes here. Oscar goes down here. And the boy goes here. All right. 
What's this? They're not bad. Let, let's go, men. Hit those mercenary scum with everything you have. Okay, so they're moving Kevin without Kevin getting in the range like now. Four guys that he has left. They think they're hot shit. <laughs> okay, I expect full health. Okay, let's see about Soren doing damage. How much damage would you do if you fought? Only 10. Uh, so it's pesky swordsman. 11 plus 10 isn't enough. Mm. Might as well kill the magic user. Is it boss holding like a special weapon? Yeah, he's holding a short spear. Oh, is that all? <laughs> yeah, stronger javelin. Yeah, he his objective is to defend, so he he won't move from that spot. Well, both of these people will be able to hit me, but how much you concerned? I could have full health. Okay, we're gonna mark these ranges here. So, yep, Ike's in their range, but Ike is not in the mage's range, so it's not a really big deal. Yay! Soren will stand here. Um, Titania, let's move you behind Ike. And okay. Let's move Boyd over here. Look at that little block here. <laughs> little block of friends. We're just making Vase as safe as possible there in the middle of his little white robes. Yeah. No, never can be too safe with a with a holy boy. Mm -hmm. I am concerned about that stabby lance person coming after Ike. Let's see. Come on, get plus defense, huh? Ike? Uh, plus defense, plus dash, plus HP, plus strength. Yeah, I mean that's all good. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. Okay, cool. But Lancey boy didn't move. Get Reese to do a heal, maybe. Okay, how do? You... Oh, okay, I could probably have Boyd trade a hand axe after Riss does a heal. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I do all showdown like this, though, how would that go? I mean, I wouldn't take any damage. It's just I don't exactly <laughs> got a kill either. I mean, I wouldn't want to throw a sword in there because, like, I, I, I think he cleaned someone's range. Could I, be don't, I don't know if these people move or not. Oh. I don't know either. Hmm. He didn't move to attack Ike, even though he could have. So, Soren has two modes, you know. Soren has a mode of sound tactical advice and racism. And loving Ike, he has three modes. Yeah, you're right. I <laughs> haven't like... seen too much of loving Ike yet, but I, it's like... I promise you it's a defining trait of Soren. Well, I feel like, you know, part, you know, I, I am all on board for queer Soren and stuff. I, I, I do want the ship, but sometimes I feel like maybe it's, it's less that Ike and him are buddies and more that, like, Ike's just the only person he tolerates because he's such a bitch. <laughs> okay, I see. They didn't move. Oh, okay, good. They all okay, good. so I'm already one turn over, I think, I'm supposed to be. Ah, uh, boo. Oh, well. Yeah, not a big deal. We can still get uh, everyone leaving. Uh, what is it? Be? There's all these different hidden objectives. The game doesn't really tell you about that gives you bonus XP. Yeah, it was nine turns. So I'm on turn ten. So right now, you don't lose the thing. You lose like ten XP per turn over the limit that you are. Oh, that's Love Shore funded. Good job, Love Shore. 
Yay, let's show our live stream. We're the first ones to say that it's fun dead. <laughs> wow, we did it again, fam. Try me! I'll not even let a single soldier get past. Come on, dude. Alright. You know what? You wasted oh, one no move on that delicious, delicious spear. Uh, <laughs> we didn't see his dying breath dialogue. I had, no, I had no room for it in my heart. And plus, I'm gonna have to discard an item, and that's what I'm more sad about. I forgot to uh, take an item off of her. Oh, but she's holding, like, all the fucking sap of six shit. Yeah, I got rid of a steel lance, I guess. She'll have all oh. the gimmicks. <sighs> okay, good. She has, a, she has a, her whatever. Stop. Stop, stop. Try to deter me from using Ike? You fools. I think this is the level that you first mentioned to me. Oh yeah, there's a level cap. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised about that. I'm mean, surprised if that time I reminded you, like, oh yeah, you can't just let I kill everyone. Yeah, exactly. Like, you can't let everyone you can't, you can't, but you can, but you shouldn't, but you can. But you should. <laughs> <laughs> I was debating if I would have him escape or not, but, um... Yeah, I was just quietly laughing about that. <laughs> Like, uh, does he fuck off or does he hit this guy for an ineffective amount of damage? What do we think? <laughs> now he's gonna fuck off. Get out of here. Well, right ahead. I think that... Hmm. Uh, I think that overall killing a person is worth more experience than, like, the turn. But... Yeah, I think so too. Like, so it's really only worth it trying to go for the goals if you're already clearing most of the map. I don't really know, yeah, though. Yeah, because they're losing I mean... time a turn, so... Yeah. The healer isn't gonna move and I'm not gonna go kill it. I just wanted Titania to just go ahead and wrap this up. I mean, that was 10 XP, so I guess... You know, I just decided that 10 XP goes to Titania. Or I could just have Ike escape this turn and... I don't get the 15 XP from Titania escaping, so I think I'll just let Titania escape. Get, the, get out of there, Boyd. Get out of here, Riss. I wonder if I should really go ahead. You better hurry, Ike! I don't like it, but I'll follow your orders and go ahead. But, Ike, watch yourself. Hey, Titania, what's up? <laughs> Let's get out of here. I Ike. Ike, I'm going ahead. I'll keep the road secure. <laughs> <laughs> that one cleric being like, hey, there's no one to heal here. Hey, 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 mercy, mercy, come I'm on. I'm a religious figure. I'm not here Just... to fight. I'm here to pray. No, no, no trouble, no trouble. Just escape the map. Just escape the map and no one has that bit of trouble here. Come on. Just move along, move along, please. Time to no, get out I, of here. I'm, I'm mad at the cloth. It's bad luck to kill me. Oh, thank God, he moved on. Oh, <gasps> fuck. Oh, that man is an agent of death. <laughs> I don't know about all those men, but that red-headed girl just killed everyone. <laughs> just... There's like a titanium running through a whole army, like, come on, guys. It's not that hard. <laughs> just put your axe in their head. I just want to have someone do like a training session in Fire Emblem where it's just like Lucina or something. It's like, no, there's your basic sword parry. No, do an Afer. <laughs> Backflip, and then you hit him again. Huh? Perfect. I don't know how, but we made it. Brother! My Lord Ike! Miss Princess Rolf? Are you all well? 
Yep, we're fine. Is this Galia? We made it, didn't we? We're safe there, right? I thought it would feel different, but I don't. <clears throat> it is. Almost like a dream. This is all due to her efforts. Thank you. Princess Alencia. Don't it's talk to my man! It's still too early to rest easy. The others haven't rejoined us yet. Get away from my life. <laughs> you unsullied ah. straight whore. I don't know that I, I'm gay, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. The opinions of Soren do not reflect my opinions. Alencia is one of my favorite characters in video games. Soren would be a swear. Anyway. <laughs> no. We're talking. We're talking about the command. <laughs> so I saw. Like, you're right. I should have projected more bad things to Soren. The text on Soren is bad enough. We're talking about the commander. I don't think there's anything to worry about. <laughs> Princess Alencia, I'm afraid we're, go we're going to have to part ways here. But what do you mean? We're going back to aid our companions. So I want you to continue with Miss to the Royal Palace of Gallia. Miss, you're in charge of the princess. Brother! No, I'm going to stay with you! Listen to me, Miss. We must do it that way so that everyone lives. Mm. Father and I will catch up to you right away. Don't worry. Have Father and I ever broken a promise to you? Well, no. Fine, we'll go ahead. Thank you, miss. We'll see you soon. Alright, Titania. Please take care of my brother. Promise? You have my word for it. Meanwhile, Rolf, like, am I supposed to go with you all? <laughs> Oscar, Void, don't get killed out there, all right? <laughs> so here's another scene that actually changes, like, right, if Oscar or Void died. Oh, yeah, shit, that would have been sad for this kid. Yeah. Rolf. Yeah, so it's, like, cool, like, such great, like, things in this writing that they don't really do in other Fire Emblem games. Well, it's yeah. like, they lose the opportunity, really, because, like, they just kind of assume that every non-plot-critical NPC will, will be dead. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's not, there's not a scene that happens if, like, the Panny, the Tegel in Fire Emblem Awakening is alive on chapter 14 or, or the fuck. Like, yeah. there's just some scenes where, like, the whole group will say something. It's like, oh, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. That, it's just that end game of every anime game where everyone gives you the power of friendship and then you beat the last boss. Yeah, outside of that, like, the cutscenes pretty much do not acknowledge the side characters in later games. Whereas here, they give us some extra little uh, cutscene doohickeys yeah. that are a little different depending on who's lived and who's died. Yeah, and which we'll get I... some more of that kind of stuff when we get into the later game uh, in the bases. Those base conversations like help make up for the fact that they may have started writing some characters, like having to go like, well, maybe they're dead by now. Yeah, like I feel like it's a way richer story. Like, we're, like you know, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Oscar or his family, but like he's still like a regular guy in this war. Like Oscar's these are still like nice. He's a good boy. Yeah, like, Oscar's a pretty good boy, and, like, these are still, like, regular people in this war. These aren't, like, lords. Like, they aren't even, in the, they weren't even the company of any royalty until they just kind of found Princess Alencia, and, like, getting their perspective is nice in this game. Whereas in Fates, it's all about, like, the royals and stuff. And, like, everyone else is just assumed to be dead, so it's just all the royal perspective all the time. Rolf. Knock it off, both of you. You look like a couple old women. Of course you're gonna be sexist, boy. Of course you is. Old women look stronger than you, Boyd. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen when I'm around. Pardon my... Uh, pardon my lord face. <coughs> yes? Take this with you, please. This is a men's staff, isn't it? Uh, are you sure this is all right? Every one of you is putting yourself in harm's way on my account. 
I only hope that this staff can mitigate your risks even slightly. I was going to use it to heal, but then I was like, don't get involved in this fight, so I didn't. Thank you very much. This will help greatly. I will use it to aid in others in our name. Thank you. Please be careful. If you'll excuse me. Oh, benevolent Ashera. Grant them all your blessings. Oh, ho, 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 Alencia. You religiously ignorant fool. <laughs> Ashera benevolent? You won't even, you won't even talk about Ashera until like 80% of the way for the next game. Don't worry about it. Huh? All right. <clears throat> all right, we're going to go now. Good luck. Watch your step and be careful. We'll see you all again, I'm sure of it. I know you will all be safe. Let's get moving. Where to, Soren? Well, we go east, on the road we used before. Let's find the commander before the enemy re reinforcements show up. Oh, shit. This is kind of like Ike's first kind of decision as a leader, I feel like. Yeah. It's like, Dad ain't around. I'm making a call. We're going back to help Dad. Shades of Evil. Ooh, is this a chapter? <clears throat> mm. Do you want to do this chapter too? I can I can go with our chapter, yeah. Yeah, let's go. sure. We'll do another chapter. I'm gonna tweet out that we're doing the next chapter. Yep. Boop -boop -boop. I'll tweet that out too. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's time for us all to take take uh, take it in. How's everyone feeling about the game? <laughs> I'm feeling good. You got that road going. You know, you took down that level pretty easy. You know, we're we're, getting, we're kind of at that point where things aren't too tricky right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty good at. Fire Emblem. I'm a real gamer. <laughs> Hardcore. It's, in it's interesting because, like, as an experienced player, used to like a lot of the player game mechanics and stuff. And then coming back into the early evil, early levels, it can actually be like a bit of a challenge because you don't have access to all those units and mm -hmm. stuff. A yeah. Way of but like then, you're... as you as your character like transitioning into this like middle of Act One part where the game's kind of like hanging its pace, you're like. You know, you've, you've had an opportunity to kind of grind and focus your XP and, like, get your growth rates going. So, like, if you've been doing that all good, then you're probably doing all right. Um, I want to mention the Nintendo Power Guide has a pun here. Um, mm -hmm. It says a uh, pole dancing for that pole axe earlier. Oh. Ha-ha. <laughs> Ha-ha. Titania was pole dancing, everyone. <laughs> Okay. Job. Yep. Anyway, time for chapter seven, Shades of Evil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even reading the guide. I just, like, I looked through it for the goofs. I mean, I'm totally using the guidebook. It's the only way to play. Um, <laughs> I mean, when I played a few, you pretty much seem to have the guidebook memorized. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would look at it to, like, uh, look at who we're recruiting for the chapters and uh, who what we yeah. need to do. You <clears throat> look for, like, very specific aim drops and stuff, but in terms of like general strategy for a match, you've got this for a tit. Let's set let's them up. Yeah, it just saves me from like having to click on status and read everyone's. I can just like look and be like, what items are dropping from what? Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah, make All right. it a little bit smoother. Anyway, so we're going to get going. We're going to start. We're, the, the real game starts in like two chapters. This is really all prologue. No, I, I, if I remember this chapter right, I think this is kind of where the game 
stars. I don't even like saying that because like I feel like the plot no, has yeah the plot the plot's definitely been going. I mean, mechanically, the game hits its like you're allowed to do everything you can do mechanically at that. Point. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, that's what I mean. We still, we still don't have access to the shop or anything, so that's a thing. Um, yeah. This is like this is like you know we got some cool story going on here, and we're still on the intro, so I'm digging it. Yeah, they're not here either. Ike, pursuing them any further may be dangerous. I think it would be best if we return to Gallia for now. It's possible the commander may have followed another road into Gallia. It's something we should consider. You're right. Getting killed looking for them would be a waste of everything they accomplished by breaking away. I guess all we can do now is trust their, their well and withdraw. Ike, there's a fort over there. Just now, for a moment only. I thought I saw someone. Shall we investigate? What? Really? Yes, let's go have a look. It seems as though this place has been abandoned for a long time. There's no one here. Hmm. I could have sworn I saw a silhouette, but I guess it was a trick of the light. Let's take a quick look around. If we don't find anything here, we'll head back to Gallia. Very well. Here they are! I found the Gavmirian mercenaries! Surround them! Curses! Dane troops! Everyone get the fuck over here! <laughs> Come on, ladies, now let's get information. We forgot to have someone coming from the right so they can just kind of hop up here in the right. So we can move people around. Uh, my goal is to move strictly towards the right. Um, so with, with everyone, I think. Okay. Um, maybe I'll have Titania go to the left, actually. What? 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 And um, so we can get a, uh, two chest keys here. There's a there's actually um, three treasure chests on the map. So what we want to do is get all those treasure chests. Two of them drop, but I think they have like five uses or something. It's just two are for uh, different uses. And uh, an a enemy drops a steel lance and another different enemy drops fire tome, which the uh, sword can use. So we're going to want to go ahead and make use of that stuff. Of course, we can play like a slow and steady game where like I block these uh, walls here. Hey, uh, I'm doing well, party people. Ritzko. Right. Um, hmm. You okay? I'm just looking at the map. Yeah. What? Uh, you look like feature mangs with 63 subs. What? I don't know what that... <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Do I look like the YouTuber Mangs who talks about Fire Emblem? Because I don't think I do. Uh, I don't think I look anything like Mangs. Uh... I don't even know who that is. Um... Yeah, uh, good for Mangs. I'm glad he has 63k. Uh... I don't think I have the same audience, <laughs> but um, I'm happy to get any subscriber. Um, anyway, so I'm thinking that we're going to go ahead and take that approach where I'm going to go forward here um, and we'll see what happens. You know, maybe there'll be some twists and turns on this map. Oh, let me say before I do that though, because I may, uh, you know, uh, game me over or whatever. Okay, oh yeah, I need to change items. Uh, I'm glad I thought of that really quick because Titania, as we uh, had seen, had run out of room to hold things. There doesn't really seem to be a lot of horses right now on this map. Um, let me look at. I don't think the boss is a horsey. Maybe she is. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, I, if anyway, if the item's on someone else, they can always just grab it. She can always just grab it from them. 
Um, yeah, Riss isn't gonna actually go grab anything. So I should probably get the short spear back because that's a different kind of weapon triangle thing. And then just be ready to trade with Titania around the map. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, okay, I think this is fine. Okay, everyone. I'm super excited to get this map going. I love this chapter. Yeah. Ready? Battle! Like, all the maps in this game are so memorable to me. Like, I remember, like, every map. Okay, so, Boyd, I'm actually gonna make use of you. I need you to, like, stand here. Okay. And then, Ike, you're gonna stand here. The steel sword. Hey. We did it! I mean, t dropping people in one hit is kind of what Titania does. There you go. Titania can be here now. If they want to fight Titania, I welcome them. Titania Appreciation Squad. Titania 2020. Finally. <laughs> uh, she's gonna be she's gonna be running against Soren. She's gonna be running against Soren and um she's like Alexander Acosta Cortez but can legally run. <laughs> uh, oh, oh you can take me out. Uh oh, she's like... Dane Soldier's here too. <laughs> now where's the exit? What's that sound someone's fighting? Four twenty blaze set. That's how much damage Titania does. It she didn't do four twenty blaze set. Mia, don't get hit. Come on. Ooh, excuse me, Mia. Vantage. Critical. <laughs> Oh yeah, this, this is just like old school advantage. You don't need to be damaged. It's the strongest skill in the game. Titania slash Titania's Axe 2020. Yes, Titania. <laughs> I, 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 I take Titania's Axe as vice president. It is way better than our current vice president. <laughs> um, ah, gee whiz politics and the new viewers are gone. Ah, dang doodle. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Ah, shoot. Shoot some ladders. Can you believe you can, it? You can't look the same to me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I thought we had six for a second. Did we? I don't know. I'm like keeping a track on the viewer thing just so I can be like, hi, new people. Oh. I mean, what's... Can you... Can you all... Can you talk to Ike, please, so I don't have to do it on my turn? Thank you. Oh, nice. Your name wouldn't happen to be Ike, would it? It is, but who are you? I'm Mia. I'm a mercenary hired by Chimera to bolster the army's numbers. An army of mercenaries, huh? So, um, what are you doing here? I got careless and got captured. They were about to send me to a prison camp when, Garel save, when Grail saved me. You see my father? Where? Just a little up north of here. Not too far away, though. Really? So he's safe? Tell me, who exactly are you guys? We're the Grail's mercenaries. As you can see, we're fighting against Dane. Huh? They're taking on a whole Dane battalion with these numbers? Nice, that settles it then. Settles what? This battle, I'm coming in on your side. You don't mind, do you? It's fine with me, but I don't know if you'll get paid be just because I let you fight. <laughs> well, I'll worry about the details later. Great, so that's all taken care of. 
What's next, boss man? <laughs> we have another cat. We have another character on our team. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, one of my favorite characters. She was actually one of the two characters in my first Geisha. Woo! At least my first conscious Geisha. Documenting this in the chat. Yes. <laughs> I like that you're typing in chat. That's cute. Start. I hope they start trends. I don't know. Yeah, everyone's getting chatty. It's our new trend. <laughs> getting chatty. I'm hoping, to, I'm hoping to maximize the SEO engagement of our users. And you know what? Streamlabs keeps such a, keeps track of that. Like your engagement rates are like this this time. They're, they're trending upwards. Get Yay. Streamlabs premium apps to. <laughs> Yay! Now where's the other key? Or did I get did I get a key? And I didn't notice it. No. Oh, I did get a key. And I didn't notice it. Whoop. Okay, so if I do. Trade. Oh no, that's not gonna work. Why'd I do that? Well, well, made my mistakes. Wow, I'm so good at range. <laughs> Whoops, that's alright. No, it's okay. I, I, this, I don't mind I, fighting the Lancies. Yeah, you know, it's uh. And I could always just do this anyway. You know, I I miss shove. I I like shove being here because like yeah. they have the whole pair up thing in Awakening, and it almost feels too easy. <laughs> nah, I'm not the type that's gonna be like, ah, oh, it has to be hard to be ever a real Fire Emblem because I've not played like the old old school Fire Emblem games. But it's just like really funny when someone walks up and just like, you know, just the animation is funny because just kind of bump them and then they go sliding across the floor five feet. <laughs> It's way funnier than pairing up. <laughs> I'm trying to maximize the amount of people that get hit by Titania in one turn. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm gonna kill this uh, this knight, and then I'm gonna like move up with my camp too, mm -hmm. so that as many people as possible are gonna be within her range. Perfect. This was like, I I think I this I had to take a few cracks at this level. <laughs> I think I had some trouble, but this time I'm not going to. Yeah, because you know, you're you're not shy about just using Titania. Yeah, this this go around I am trying to use Titania to the maximum. Mm -hmm. Titania max level this run. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my water refill really quick. Uh, the animations are happening anyway. Ooh, 98 experience. Don't worry, I'm still talking at you all. I'm still here. Three months. <laughs> Looking good in your dress, dear. Big Harley Quinn energy. Oh, thank you. Yes, my Harley dress is very nice. If you all want to see it, I'll just twirl there. I love, I love <laughs> a twirly skirt. <laughs> my modesty. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have too much fun here. Don't want to flash my panties to anyone. <laughs> I wasn't even looking, so it'd just be like not fair to anyone. Yeah, I gotta make sure. I have to go back in the stream and be like, did anything show that I can should I be showing? Oh, I don't want to okay. violate Twitch's uh, terms and conditions for having fun. You know, we could alleviate this to certain measures, but fuck that. Um. I, I could wear pants under this. I was going to actually wear my PJs, but I got a little warm. And I hey, you know, you, like you said, streaming's a good excuse to put on a nice dress. I just mean my, my like PJ pants under it, so for, for modesty's sake. But, <laughs> um, oh, cool, my progesterone's ready. Thank you, CBS. <laughs> A quick trans uh, um, intervention to talk about uh, skirts and progesterone. 
Yes. This, this you're not gonna find this on a dude's stream. Unless I don't know, they're a trans guy? They might talk about that. Or a guy who likes skirts. They might tell it. I just mean like the guys who are popular are talking about fire and <laughs> No, I was I was like a lot more dude streamers. They just talked about how nice skirts were to wear. <laughs> yes. I would probably um, have some questions. Like, will you be my friend? Yeah, exactly. Will you? We do a collab. Collab <laughs> when? Collab. The lab. When are we doing the collab? <laughs> okay, I want to still be within these range. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then there. Here we go. Everyone fight me. Okay. Alright. Can you zoom in so I can see more to that? Um, yeah, yeah. I forgot how to zoom out. Uh, right trigger. There we go. Okay. Do you want me to zoom out more? Do you want to see it like this? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be useful going forward. I'm like, I'm trying to like give commentary, but I can't really see that much of the map at any given time when it's all zoomed in. But like, you can, you like, it's easier to have a spatial awareness of the game while you're actually playing it. Okay. So I'd be attacked by both knights if I was in their range, so I think I'll just go here. Um, that's the OR. You know, getting the iron blades? No. I'm just gonna use the regal sword if I have to fight these knights. Alright, yeah. Boom, boom. Hey, you can't just shoot Titania. See? I was trying to her with a range weapon so that I would... I was tired of these people just attacking her and not dying, so I decided just to give her her short spear. I said you can't just attack Titania just as he hits her for zero damage. I'm like, see? See, it was a waste of your time. You probably I told should have tried to retreat. I didn't say you shouldn't attack Titania. I said you can't attack Titania, and I wasn't lying. Hey, it's time for a gotcha update. Getting my freeze grand blue spin. Oh my god. <laughs> Critical! I'm not gonna summon because I'm saving it for tomorrow. Three roll. 20 free summons, everyone. 20 free draws. Lame. I wanted to get 100. <laughs> Jeez, you just cleared up this map. Just vacuumed them. Yep. Not that hard. <laughs> the the, the, the long part's reading the cutscenes. If it was just doing the maps, we could do it a lot faster. <laughs> oh, here you go. <laughs> Found you at last. You provided more entertainment than I thought you would. Who are you? Me? I'm General Petrine. And my arrival marks your doom. Lament your fortune, dear children, for all hope is lost. You will not leave this place alive. Petrine? Of the four riders? Do you know her, Soren? She may be one of the four generals who are King Dane's most trusted confidants. She is said to wield a flame lance of terrible arcane might. Thankfully, it only has like 25 uses. <laughs> <laughs> you heard of me? Why, I'm flattered. I'll try to make it easy on all of you. Give me the princess and do it now. If I roast the girl along with your cu with you curse, I won't be able to... Pr if I roast the girl along with you curse, I won't be able to present her head to my majesty. Sorry to tell you this, but the princess isn't here. She's been in Gallia for quite some time now. What? Nonsense is this. Do you expect me to believe you? There's no way mercenary scum like you got past my troops. They say a, 
That blind arrogance sows the field of its own destruction. Whoa. Something tells me they were talking about you. Who is this man? Who could he be? Oh. So. Boom! One hit, <laughs> one kill. Dude, that was a crit, I think. Yeah. He just walked in and critted that guy to style on him. Father! What are you doing back here? You dumb pup? Uh, we got the princess safely into Gallia? When you didn't rejoin us, we decided we'd look for you. The mission wouldn't be complete until you returned. What am I to do with you? Still, you did well. Good work, Ike. <laughs> Ignoring me proves you have more guts than common sense. So, you're the commander, eh? <laughs> and I was waiting uh, for some great hero. You're just another sellsword. Am I? <laughs> you know, I think I'll keep you. His Majesty, well, let's just say he enjoys strong men. Yes, uh. I do think you'll make a great souvenir. You don't have to come along quietly. But I must have you alive. Dead men have no value after all. Wow. So the rumors of Mad King Ashnard's twisted games are true then, are they? Ike, I'll distract the woman. Take the others and get out of here. Now. But father, I told you there was nothing to worry about. Now move on, we'll regroup in Gallia. You will not escape me. Not you or your little friends. You're far too tasty a treat to pass up. You said your name was Piatrine. Is that right? Listen up. This place is nowhere near big enough. I need to unleash my Super Saiyan farm. <laughs> There's not enough room for a true contest between the two of us. I'm going elsewhere. You coming? Do you think I'll fall for such a simple ruse? You and I, we got more power than the average person. We don't come across a chance this, like this that often. I like to flex my muscles without any distractions getting in the way. You? <laughs> you really do know how to sweet talk a girl, don't you? All right, I'm coming. Just this murder flirting happening in front of us. Over here. All right, man. I'm leaving you in charge here. Don't even... Don't let even one of those Crimean vermin escape. Understood? I want them exterminated by the time I return. Uh, there's only like, there's not that many people left. <laughs> yeah, we actually kind of kill all your troops before you got to this point. We are, we gotta kind of like get these chests open before we kill your guys. We killed your guys so fast. Yeah, it was a little easy actually. We're all breaking out or pre breaking out of here. Come on, don't fall behind. Oh, they got reinforcements now. Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay, well, that <coughs> changes things a little bit. Alright. 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 That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I could have Titania kill these people before she opens chests. I'm not too concerned. Their boss is a mage guy, though, so I want to be out of his range with Gaytree. Mm-hmm. I'll have him stand here. And uh, cook the Steel Lance. You could have Titania, like, open... No, wait, that doesn't work. I could uh, just have her run and kill everyone. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I think I'll have Ike go down here and wait. kill this mage. Doesn't she have the chest key, though? Yeah, so she'll, she'll just kill them and then run back. Here, open the chest. Okay. Yeah, Ike's gonna kill this one. I don't think that Ike will die, even if he gets attacked by everyone. Um, I could probably actually move down uh, Mia. Um, have her fight against uh, not not the uh, generals, but like if the lance if one lance person and a thief decide to attack her, it's really not going to be a big um, loss. Ooh, Ike plus strength oh. plus magic plus speed. Really gonna use that magic stat. Yeah, I mean if it I get a uh, Levin sword, I don't even know if those are in this game. This is like another level where they're kind of like dangling out alternate conditions for you with these like big free chests over here. Yeah. It's like an armor take slayer. Hey, armor slayer, we need that. Give it to me. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. 
I already... Yeah, my bad. I wasn't thinking. I'll give it to me after. Okay. Uh, hammer. <laughs> Stop. Hammer time. There we go. Iron Lance. Oh, you tried your best, didn't you, buddy? There you go. Oh, <coughs> here. Paladins are funny because their only weakness is if they specifically have a weapon that targets like horses. <laughs> They're pretty good units. Titania is not a person that one describes as having a weakness. <laughs> <laughs> no one would describe her in this way, that is true. It's like Frederick, yeah, Frederick can die to magic really easily, but sure, she's a paladin, she's fine. Alright, and Moose Ornan. Here we go, fam. What? Now I gotta make it uh, audio interesting because some people listen to this as like a podcast on the archive. <laughs> it's not looking. I gotta be like, Ike swings his blade in a dramatic <laughs> flare. I mean, I could do that. I might just wear my throat out after a while doing it constantly, but I could do that. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't have to worry too much. See, it's uh, like the women here wear the same armor as the men. And yeah. it makes sense. See, so Gaetri's just kind of holding that spot over there. Because mm -hmm. uh, he's not going to die from any of that. Oh, he got an armor slayer. Oh. Give me that. No, wait, don't give me that, because we're out of weapon slots. Hey, it doesn't matter, it's not giving it. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so there's a thief. He wants to, like, go and rob that other chest, but don't worry, he won't let that happen. Okay, okay. How's everyone doing? Everyone having fun? I'm doing good. Yeah. Anyway. So like right, like even with, without the reinforcements, we would have been done with that map in like fifteen minutes or something like that. Yeah, I, I was like, ah, what are you talking about, Pete? Tree? We we're basically already taking care of these guys, and then she like spawns some more guys. Ah, so, oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so Mia's gonna kill this one. Boop. Uh, uh. Did that hit? I don't think that hit. It hit. It just. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. I think those Google Hangouts didn't display the exact rate of her being hit, so I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Mia got hit by flames and was just like, come on. I've been hit by worse. Alright, now Titania can just move back over here and open a chest. Ooh, oh, no, no, no. Um, by Vonery. I didn't expect that. I should have looked at the items in the chest. Now, I'm actually going to let the thief steal this thing because he's just going to open the chest for us. Right, because you can get the the last item they grabbed and I don't think he has another treasure on him. Yeah, so he's not really going to be much of a threat. He's just going to save us a chest key. Yeah. And I, I might be able to move Mia into his range or something like that. Okay. Or just have Soren get the kill. He doesn't actually steal the thing until it gets off the map. I've had playthroughs right. where Ike was level 20 at this point on this map. <laughs> How? I, he did every kill. Oh, I mean, he has a little 13, yeah. so I guess it's like perfectly possible. There's like, there's like 10 more chapters before he ranks up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is why I have tried to use him a little bit less this time. I mean, that's okay, because, like, we have Mia now, you know? Just at the point where, like, Ike's getting up there, they start giving us girls. It's like, don't worry about Ike anymore. Just focus on leveling up these girls. Finally, girls. We'll get a girl next chapter, too. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, does Eliana come in? Yeah, I, I think next chapter is Eliana's chapter. I think next chapter gives us, like... Eliana, and then I think she's like a recruit on the enemy side, which yeah. is the first time it happens in this game, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah speaking of like first time things happening in this game, like 
they're kind of like they put these chests here, so it's like one more thing to kind of dedicate your attention to. But like, if you're not managing like all these like reinforcements, right, it can be really overwhelming to like have people just be straggled back trying to pick up one chest or whatever. But like, you can't grind, so you need everything you can get usually. So I don't know. It's just it's just cool to see all these like different little design choices. Yeah, there's always different ways of playing a map. I quite like it. Okay, let's see. Uh, even if I shove Mia twice, I don't think she can get there. I have to shove Mia three times. I don't think I can do that. Okay, no, I can. I can do this. Boop. Watch this. My ultra instinct. Um... Okay, now I need Boyd to do this. Boop. Okay, now can you shove her? Yes. Of course he can shove her. I mean, he's a man. <laughs> he has the power to always have higher constitution, even when he's a, a spell casting class, right? Okay, I'm gonna have uh, Oscar attack this guy really quick to do some damage so that Mia can just go ahead and get those kills. I'm gonna like make a long thesis about sexism in game design and about how it's really weird for creators to make like gender split stat differences and stuff. Yeah, um, Fire Emblem's definitely guilty of that. It's, uh... Yeah, like like the likes of something like D and D modern editions will be like like I, don't, I think in the very early editions D and D had like some sexism going on just straight up in the rules. But like in modern editions, it will say like, "Hey, being a woman or a man doesn't affect your stats." It's a fantasy game. It doesn't have to be like <laughs> like well, your biologically, own. Biologically, like... um, you would have plus four strength and minus two speed if you were a man. Biologically, we all know that men present a strength rating of plus two. <laughs> we all know this. This is simply facts about men. I'm, yeah, not, like, I'm not here to, you know, fill in your SJW quotas. Everyone knows men have a plus four to poo poo butt. <laughs> yeah, so. God, I lost all train of thought there for a second. But, um. Yeah, like, Fire Emblem was kind of like the, one of the last games that kind of does it. And, like, Fates is, like, kind of, like, finally gotten rid of the, like, the, the gender, like, split on the class and everything. <laughs> Huh? Just the thief, he ran in a circle. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if he wants to retreat, his AI knows he can't win. And, and Awakening, like, I've been grinding for a lot of levels on Awakening. And let me tell you, in Awakening, he'll just run into Titania, use up one of her uses of her axe, and destroy himself on her without regret. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes, like, they'll run into, like, generally the enemies will move in, but, like, they hit, like, sometimes, like, enemies have, like, objective mapping, like, these, where they're like, I don't want to fight, I want to leave and live, and take yeah. this treasure and sell it. I'm not here to serve any army. Yeah. It's a good thing they don't have the power of, um, fight preview, or else they would know they're not going to deal any damage and not bother attacking. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Mia! Yes, yeah. yeah, so I wanted to get her at least one level up before this level was done. It's a good chunk of XP, that thief boy, huh? Yeah. A tasty treat, and I got a ward. Woo, okay, well, I don't need boy. to use Boyd, so... Here, shove Ike. How's everyone's health doing? Okay, Mia's a little low. She could use a replenishing, and so could Titania. Now, if I have Titania fight the boss, he's a magic user, and that's her most, her biggest... Nah, she's no, fine. She's, she's a fine. paladin, baby. Paladins, can, paladins have high res, right? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, they don't have the highest res. Uh, there's not, like, great knights here, so... They hey, have... excuse me. One moment. <laughs> uh, ba 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 See, res a uh, def 12. So it is her lowest stat that actually matters. 
I, I had to open up my 3DS to confirm that the uh, description away thing says the Paladin has high move and res. So the game that's uh, that came out like eight years later says they have high res, so it has to have high res, Alexis. Oh, okay, of course. <laughs> I just wanted her to kill the one that I can't kill by my Mia self. I'm gonna try to have Mia kill this boss, I think. Mm -hmm. I think that's my goal here. Okay, that's interesting. He does have magic. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do here is rescue. Stand here. Take, drop. <laughs> So, you can see I'm doing some advanced Fire Emblem maneuvers here that you can only do in, like, these games. Yeah, I mean, you can do a lot of that through, like, the whole pair-up and uh, transfer yeah. system. But, like, it, the, it doesn't take account of, like, your character's, like, weight at all. Where in this game, everyone has has, has some, like, weird semi hidden stat determining how heavy they are. And whether they can pick up or shove people or not. <laughs> yeah. Um... I, mean, I could let Ike go up there. Okay, so Ike, you move here. Okay. I'm a little bit concerned because Mia's low on health. I should have like had. Uh, oh. Go here gosh. first. Mm. If I could move, I could move Riss one space, but I don't think then she'll be able to. Yeah. You could shove Riss or Soren. Yeah, but that's not gonna go far enough. Uh. Because Gay Tree is not going to be able to shove. You know, Oscar can't shove. I mean, it's not like I need to go this turn. I was just trying to be as fast as possible. And do you see, like, he doesn't. He can move, but he doesn't actually move. Okay, okay. At least he's, he's not actually those... moving in Titania. He's one of those bosses that's, like, got perfectly working legs. He just feels like staying rooted to the spa. It's like a kind of uh, morale thing. Oscar, you stand here. Let's see if he'll move for you, Oscar. O Oscar and Ike are there. Okay, they didn't move. Ooh. There we go. Mia gets to. I'm gonna try to get her all that experience now. I don't think she can move on them yet. Ooh, Visa's getting some decent stats, even though he can only use them to heal. <laughs> I mean, when he classes up, if I use them, ever class him up, he'd be able to use what? them for other stuff. Okay. Oh, we get some lag. We got a little lag spike there. It's alright, we get some lag sometimes. So happens when you play on a GameCube. <laughs> A real GameCube. I don't think I have my real GameCube here, but I do have my Wii somewhere, probably, in my closet. Because I brought it so I could play Just Dance, if I felt like. <laughs> I was like, what if I want to Just Dance? Okay, he doesn't drop anything, and neither does he, just making sure. So he can't kill me, which is mm -hmm. good to know. Mm -hmm. So I could... Um, Kill the priest here with Mia, and then he'll attack Mia probably. And Mia will live. And then I can heal Mia. Okay, so Soren can't Whoa. even do any damage to him. He, that's his wheelhouse. He's a he's a magey boy. Soren's like this magey boy is outside my death. Unfortunate. Yeah, she's also Soren has high res. So I was like maybe Soren can do a thing. He's got eight res, but only nine magic. So currently not gonna get past that fourteen res there. 
Like, like only one person has rest, so this boss is like not properly equipped to fight our team, really. <laughs> hmm. You Yo, wretches, you're not worthy of General Petrine's attention. I'll roast your bones and present to her as a trophy. I'm Bama, the main character of. Ah, I got her. Ah, oh, she's still alive. <laughs> Easy. I knew that's what would happen. All according to Kikaku, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what that's from. I just heard you say it a lot a long time ago. It's um, it was from Death Note, from that era where fan subbers would like keep in the original Japanese. Because they thought it was just like cooler that way. So like, like so it zooms in on light after he does this big elaborate scheme where he gives himself amnesia, then undoes his own amnesia as a major super double f uh, uh, fake out, and then he goes like, all according to plan. But it's like in Japanese, it's like something something Kikaku because the word for plan is Kikaku, I guess. So then the subject just said, all according to Kikaku, and it became a meme. <laughs> Oh, well, now I know what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I took away the mysticism of it. Mysticism, you ruined it for me. <laughs> you ruined... Can you can you soften this guy up somehow? Um, yeah. Yeah, there you go. He has no chance of critting, so I don't have to worry about anything bad happening. Huh. Fuck you. Oof. There you go. Now me can get the kill. Yeah, I had to prioritize Mia getting the experience because she, like, hasn't got levels. I'm, like, level 13 Ike here, level 5 Paladin Titania. <laughs> like, it just, it, it's what had to happen. Mm hmm. I want all my girls to be at their maximum power. Ouchie. Yeah, since this you. guy's a sage, it should give a nice amount of experience to Mia. Oh like yeah, a level and a half or something, maybe. His dying, his dying breath was literally just a breath. He was like, "Ugh." <laughs> That's what, how important what? he was. It's funny. His only, his only dialogues to say they were like, "We're important losers," and his dying, his like dying dialogue is nothing. It's not an important loser. Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet! It's this Carter. I can't wait until we recolor and use it like three more times in this game. <laughs> Hey, our assets are expensive. <laughs> I, I, it's just funny. It's just during daytime. This is also like a really nice castle, apparently. Uh, later point. <laughs> I have to find my father. Where did he go? What? Titania just caught up. <laughs> I like how when Titania's head would slightly like angle back to look at you they don't have the animation for that so instead like her entire body and her entire horse's body just like shift at a 45 degree angle to slightly face you <laughs> i love gamecube animation Titania, is my father don't worry commander grail's a better fighter he'll be fine dog's breath who are you man you look like a common cell sword but you fight like a demon What's wrong? Ready to surrender? And admit defeat? Me? <laughs> Don't be absurd. Hey! Here they are! Over here! Blast! Enemy reinforcements! Father! Let's get out of here! There's too many! Looks like I've got no choice. Got to unleash my Bankai. Oh. Hey. <laughs> so now, the tide has turned, hasn't it? All troops attack! Kill them! Kill them all! Oh shit. Easy. Hey. Hmm, looks like our luck ran out. Father! You have to survive this, Ike. 
I'm not gonna lose you. Not in a place like this. Are you ready? Yes, Commander. You know where to run. Curse whatever gods you hold. For they have abandoned you. What was that? Beast! Scallion beast! Soldiers! Run! They're gonna tell we're gonna be torn to shreds! Stand your ground, all of you! Don't panic! I will personally slaughter the first man to turn his back on this army. No! Pah, worthless cowards. One and all. What's the sound even that was just able to convince him to run and leave? It was uh, the scream of a, like a tiger or a lion. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Beasts! Apparently it was, um, one, two, three, four cats and three tigers. Including this twink. Uh... It's Maybe, I shall, maybe I'll take him, since he's kind of like a counterpart to I, old Ice Boy. Yeah, yeah. You take, <clears throat> take Renal. All right. Attention, Dane soldiers, leave this place at once. If you do not comply immediately, you will face Gallia's full strength. Threaten me all you like. It's not going to frighten me off. If I leave, His Majesty will have me executed. I'd rather die here in battle with my honor intact. Withdraw, General Petrine. Ah, oh, shit! The Black Knight! As for your king, you have nothing to fear. I'll explain things to him. Take your men and go. All troops fall back. Hmm? He's staring at you, isn't he, Father? Yeah. He is. Hey, are you trying to take us, taking us all on by yourself? Mm. I could, but I won't. <laughs> that seems unlikely. Come on. Mm. Father? This Black Knight is not a lesbian. Doesn't mean it's not gay, but it's yeah, not a lesbian. Yeah, definitely gay, but not a lesbian. <laughs> Father. Father, brother. Missed. Master Grail, my lord, I can please your will. Princess Silencia, why did you return here? The Miss Princess Kim requested galleon aid for your mercenary company. That's what brings us here. Are you one of Gallia's subhumans? Oh no! Subhuman? <laughs> what arrogance it takes to coin such a name. You think yourselves the only ones worth the name human and so be the goose must be beneath you? And thus you call us subhuman. We are less than human to you, is that it? I'm sorry, I, I didn't know any other name for you. If I've offended you, I, I apologize. What should I call you, Lagoos? Would that be more appropriate? Huh? You show manners? I was. I like that. Now, who you are? Who exactly? My name is Ike. Ike of the Grail Mercenaries. I'm Renalf, a warrior of Gallia. We did not know what to think when this group of Bjork came tramping through Gallian fields. Imagine a surprise to learn that one of them is Princess Alencia. No, that was a shock. Two days ago, Dane proclaimed their conquest. We thought Crimea's royals had all but been killed. Conquest? They laid claim to Crimea? Which means Crimea must be... I... I also heard this news from my Lord Renalf. After... After I fled to capital, my Lord Uncle Renning, he... I am... I am all alone. Princess Alencia. This is why our king ordered extra patrols along the nation's border. It wasn't mere chance that brought my warriors here to offer you support. I see. 
First of all, I must present Princess Alencia to the king. As for the rest of your men, Ike, I must get orders from my superiors. Until then, you may rest at an old castle inside of Gallia. Sorry, but I cannot bring so large a group of foreigners to the palace without warning. I understand, Commander. That's not going to be a problem, is it? Commander? Uh, what was it? What's wrong? You're not paying attention. It's not like you. I was thinking of old episodes of Seinfeld. You know, I'm an old guy. <laughs> I was thinking about something. So, uh, what's been decided? Princess Alencia is going, to, going on to the palace with Renan. We're going into Gallia, setting up camp in an old castle. Which way ca to the castle, Renan? <coughs> I shall prepare a guide to take you. On one of you, quickly. No, don't go through the trouble. If it's nearby, we cross the river on the border and head west. It's uh, Gable Castle, right? You go ahead, get the princess to King Caius as fast as you can. <coughs> Understood. What thoughtful guest you are. If you'll excuse me. Oh, and if it's not overly presumptuous, I'll have some food delivered to you later. We'd appreciate that. The road has been hard. You had little time to pack more than salted meat and hard biscuits. Then we shall provide. Prince Silencia shall be leave. Farewell, everyone. Until later. I will see you soon, won't I? Hmm. Take care. Renolf, like, calling out Ike for saying a slur, and Ike being like, I'm really sorry, all I knew was slurs. I will not say slurs anymore. And, like, good. Remember yeah, that's, that. That's the appropriate way for people to react. Like, it's like, oh, I said something offensive. I'm, am I being cancelled now? Yeah, it's like, he just learned that that's not the word we use, and he stopped using it. That's all it has to be sometimes, people. Yeah. You can just not use a slur, and then people generally not have a problem with you. I was like, oh, okay. Fine. Like, Renolf Renal is a very understanding and cool-headed person that would let a town full of people, like, try to murder him rather than defend himself and risk war. But not all of us have that uh, <laughs> kind of patience, but whatever, whatever. Father! <laughs> Ike, what are you doing still awake? I couldn't sleep, so I was lying out. I was lying there, standing outside, and I saw you leave the castle. Um, where are you going at this hour? It's nothing to do with you, boy. Go back inside and get to sleep. Will you stop treating me like a child? I'll do as I please, got it? <laughs> You're always a stubborn pup. Let's say we walk and chat a bit. Yeah. Hmm. Tell me, Ike, are you getting used to the ins and outs of the mercenary life? The way we approach combat? I'm definitely a better fighter, but I don't understand. Why would you put a recruit like me in charge? What is all this complaining? You got a problem with authority? I mean, Ike has a major problem with authority, as we'll see throughout this game, but yeah. <laughs> Just give me a straight answer, Dad. I don't want to talk about my anarchist politics right now. <laughs> I've only just started. I'm barely able to handle my own duties around here. I shouldn't be in charge of anyone. You can learn it all at once. It'll all fall into place as soon as you get some more experience. It's just strange, is all. A while ago, you never would have said or done anything like this. Is something wrong, Father? Why are you in such a rush? Ike, do you remember anything at all about your mother? What? Where did that come from? Just answer the question. Let's see. She was kind, I think. I don't really remember. And you never said much about her either. Hmm, is that so? Father, what is it? We're done. Leave me. Go back to the castle. 
What, just like that? You heard me, that's a direct order. Return to the castle immediately. I... Fine. Hmm. Like how we're seeing the map that we're gonna be in next chapter. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> I didn't listen to anybody. Just a wordless fuck that. Oh, we got cussing here. CGs, everyone, get ready. Hopefully, we can hear Ike's great voice acting. Hopefully. If you're thinking, oh, that's pretty interlaced, don't worry, it's just like that. Yeah, I'm gonna increase the volume here for everyone on the audio. Oh, shit. Dad, you have weapon disadvantage, you idiot! Dad, switch to a lance! Dad, if you just use a lance! Ike, stay back! Oh, this music is like. I can't hear you. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Threw it away. The only weapon I need. To take the sword, dude. Right. Yeah. They give a reason why he used the axe instead of the sword in the. Oh, yeah, he technically doesn't have sword proficiency. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can defeat me, the man who taught you how to fight. <laughs> what a fool. Come on, boy. Come try me. Remember that you always have an advantage against Boyd. Oh. oh. No challenge. No resistance. Father. Shit. We got the Black Knight theme playing. Unbelievable. <coughs> is this truly what has become of my teacher? Father! Father! Ike! Father! Now then, will you give me what I came for? I don't have it. I, I threw it away. <laughs> You know better than anyone what is true is. Threw it away. Surely you cannot craft a more plausible lie. You're not even trying anymore. I'm done talking to you. So there's no way for me to get any of my answer, is there? The dead keep their secrets, or so it's said. But you? However, you're not dead yet. I wonder, well, watching your son's face grow pale, his eyes growing dim, and his life bleeds away. And then your daughter. Oh, the horrors I will visit upon her. Will that loosen your tongue, perhaps? Jesus. I suppose we'll simply have to see. What? No, Ike! Ike, don't. Oh. Oh! Punched him. Holy shit, Ike's alive after that. Ugh. Yeah, he didn't stab him, he just punched him in the... 
He used like the shove animation. Oh my god. Uh, took one punch. <laughs> Not even a slosh. Ike! I won't cheek my hand again. Give me what I'm after. If you offer no more resistance, I will leave your child alive. Stop. You will not touch my son. Oh. I don't think you have this one, I... What is this? The King of Beasts? How bothersome. Do I retreat? Huh? You're not going anywhere. Tell me, is the son as stupid as the father? Ugh. Yeah. Father! I stop. There's no way you can win. But, Ike? You will not continue? Then I will finish. Ugh. So close. Clips. Now is not the time for me to deal with him. <laughs> you get to keep your head today, boy. I don't feel like throwing down with the king of a nation right now, so I'm just gonna peace out. Blast. So willful. So ignorant. Of course, the one who made him that way was me. <laughs> Father? Father, hold on. I can't do anything here. I've got to get you back to the castle. Oh, gosh. Father. Oh, man. Uh. Wow. I... <coughs> Father, are you, are you awake? I... There's something I need to tell you. T tell me later. Right now I'm getting you back to the castle. Forget about revenge. Leave that night alone. Stay away. What? Father? Stay with the King of Gallia. Live here. Live in peace. Father, stop talking. You're wasting your strength. Please. I need you to take care of everything. The company missed. Wait, you mustn't say such things. It'll be light soon. You'll be fine. <laughs> A little longer, stay a little longer. <gasps> wow. Chapter seven, Save the Fields completed. And I think that does it for the stream today. Yeah, I think so. We'll let, let Grail get his last few words next time. Yes. Next time we'll pick up with some flashbacks and the direct results of what happened after the death of Grail. Uh, thank you all so uh, much for listening. Yeah, thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next stream. Yeah. You can check all the linky links in the description on the Twitch. Um, Girlfriend Quest Twitter. Tracy's Twitter, my Twitter, they're all linked there. And our Patreons are also in those descriptions, but in case you want to type it up with your hands or you're listening to the podcast and you want to keep it in your brain box, um, it is patreon.com backslash Alexa Sarah for me and uh, patreon.com backslash Tracy Campbell for Tracy. Hey. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. I'm sorry to end on a somber tone. Uh, but thank Sick. you all so much for listening. You're all fantastic viewers. I'm really lucky to have all of you. Have a lovely, lovely evening. Sometimes things just get somber in these games.
Yeah. Bye-bye. Catch you all later.